looking up through the damper frame. This is the edge of the damper frame looking up into the smoke chamber. Mm -hmm. This is the bottom edge of the flue tile here. So about two inches or so from the actual stainless steel lining. This is the steel here, this area. They stuffed an insulation. I cannot tell exactly what it is. It does not appear to be ceramic wool, but that is only my opinion. At the top of the chimney, this is the old furnace flue. They siliconed down a plate at the top to be sure that smoke wasn't getting sucked down is why I'm assuming that was done. It's not a good idea to do that because what it does is trap in a warm column of air or cold column of air inside of the chimney and does not allow it to breathe. So we're better off allowing this to vent but keeping water out and keeping birds out. This is the, before I touch it, this is the the top shot of the chimney cap. You've got a top plate that goes down and a band that screws down and tightens around the liner. Then you have a cap that tightens around this collar. Upon arriving here, I did not touch these, but I was able to just pick this up and take it off without even loosening a screw. I did take a few pictures over here. This is not related, but there's water able to get into the brick. The problem with allowing that to happen is mm -hmm. it's cracking through as water freezes and thaws. Right. So if it's left unprotected for long, it's going to cause more deterioration. And where is that? This right. is the very top of the, the chimney. The very top. Yep. This is the concrete over the top. And you can see it's cr cracking, right. chipping up. Just something that come springtime should be on your list of things to do. I'll send you a separate proposal completely separate to this. Okay. This is the liner after the top is removed. Um, there should be, just like you saw on the internet, um, there's insulation that's required to be in here. Nothing at Nothing all. There. It's just a naked pipe. Just another shot looking straight down. Mm -hmm. No insulation to speak of. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's why I was so curious as to how they were able to move that liner when they came out to pull it up. Well, yeah, it just took them a the couple phone. minutes. They just slid it right up. And yeah. So, as you know, there should be at least a poured-in insulation or wrapped ceramic wool inside of here. And that's required for any solid fuel burning appliance, not just for code, but for the manufacturer's instru you know, installation instructions from, this, from Olympia. <coughs> so what I will do is submit you a proposal on removing this lining, running a camera on the inside to take a look and see if there is fire damage inside. If there is, then you'll get a report from us to submit to your insurance company mm -hmm. along with a proposal, pictures, and a description of what's going on. This video from today and the pictures from today, I'll leave you on a thumb drive okay. so you have them in your possession right now. If you have questions along the way, if you need any other documentation, you just let me know.